Hello guys and welcome to another online class. Today we're gonna be talking about the new refitter class. There's a lot of confusion about this class. Some people like it and others hate it. But if you hate it, then you will change your mind after watching this video. And if you like it, then you will like it even more. As I'll be sharing all the tips and info about this class, including a huge secret tip that I don't think anyone knows about. And you will be the first to know about this secret. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics and the general idea of this class and then we'll move on to the advanced tips and detailed explanation. So this skill works by placing the armor pack on the ground. This will allow you and your teammates to pick special armor plates. The number of armor plate layers you have is indicated by this icon over here and you can have a maximum of three layers. Without an upgrade, you can take one armor plate at a time and after upgrading, you can take two armor plates at a time. These plates reduce the incoming damage from the enemy bullets also they protect your vest from being damaged for a total of three shots so if you have three layers of armor the enemy first three bullets will damage your health but they won't damage your vest moving on to the passive which is called the greaser the passive allows you to repair both your vest and vehicle automatically also it increases their durability which means you can survive much longer in fights i'll go into more details about how much it reduces the damage and how fast it repairs later on this video Moving on to the damage reduction. How much damage does this class reduce? Now, before we start, I have to mention that all the damage testing done in this video is against a level three vest with 150 HP at 10 meters range and using the same exact gun, which is the AK-47 with this build right here, just to make sure all the results are fair and accurate. So we will start with the normal damage test without refitter class and here I chose ninja class. Notice that the enemy shots here deals 18 to 19 damage. As for the vest damage, every shot reduces the vest HP by 7% to 8%. Now let's try with the refitter class without an upgrade and notice that I have three layers of armor plate stacked up. The first shot was blocked by the level 3 layer and as a result only 14 damage was taken. Second shot directed to the level 2 layer dealt 15 damage. And the third bullet directed to the level 1 layer dealt 16 damage. So one damage difference between every layer. And after all the layers are gone, notice that the damage is back to normal, which is 18 to 19 damage, and that's the same as the ninja class. As for the vest damage, each bullet reduced 6 to 7%, which is 1% less than the ninja test. Now let's test it against an upgraded refitter class, and again I have 3 layers stacked up. The first bullet directed to the level 3 layer dealt 12 damage only. The second bullet to the level 2 layer dealt 14 damage. And finally the third bullet that was blocked by the level 1 layer dealt 15 damage. And again after all the armor plate layers are destroyed the damage went back to normal which is 18 to 19 damage. As for the vest damage each bullet reduced 5 to 6% which is again 1% less than the refitter without an upgrade. Next, we have the repair speed. How fast does the refitter class repairs your vest and vehicles? We will start with the vest repair without an upgrade and we'll see how fast it repairs from 51% to 71%. So that's a total of 20%. As you can see it repairs 2% at a time and it took 50 seconds to repair 20% which means it repairs 100% in around 4 minutes and 10 seconds, which is too long in my opinion. However, after upgrading this class, the repair becomes faster. In here, we tested how fast it repairs 20%. 
Notice that it repairs 3% now and it took 35 seconds to repair 20% which means it repairs 100% within 2 minutes and 9 seconds. Now that's much better. Moving on to the vehicle's repair speed and I chose the chopper since it's the most used vehicle and this time we will test 10% because it takes longer to repair vehicles. So without an upgrade this class repairs 10% of the chopper within 30 seconds which means it repairs 100% within 5 minutes. And after you upgrade it, it will repair 10% within 25 seconds and a total of 4 minutes and 9 seconds for 100%, which is by the way the exact same time needed to repair your vest without an upgraded refitter class. There is another important tip to mention here. When you take armor plates from the armor pack after dropping it on the ground, it will give you a repair boost. So notice in this example, my vest is severely damaged and low in health. Now I'm gonna drop the armor pack and see how fast it's repairing now. 5% every time in addition to the normal repair rate which was at 2%. So when the refitter class isn't upgraded, this repair boost will last for 2 seconds. And during these 2 seconds, it repaired a total of 17 best HP. And after the boost is over, the repair will be back to normal. When the refitter class is upgraded, the repair boost becomes even better. So in here I have an upgraded refitter and once I dropped it on the ground, the repair boost started again. But this time it repaired 8% instead of 5% plus the normal 3% repair rate. And the boost lasted for 5 seconds instead of 2 and during that it managed to repair 51% which is insane. After the boost is over as expected, the repair rate went to normal at 3% at a time. We arrived to the most important part of this video. I want you to close your windows and lock your doors because this secret I'm about to share makes the refitter class the best class in the game and I'm not even joking. I'm gonna need your full attention on this one. Ignore everything around you. If you see a flying elephant in your room, you're probably high but even if you're not, just ignore it and focus on what I'm about to say. So previously on this video, we tested the damage reduction and with other classes like Ninja, I took 18 to 19 damage. Then we tried refitter class without an upgrade and I took 13 to 15 damage with the three armor layers and after the layers were destroyed the damage was 18 to 19 finally we tested the damage with an upgraded refitter and I took 12 to 15 damage for the three layers and after they were gone the damage went back to 18 and 19 damage now this was for me as a refitter class user but what about your teammates what happens when you give your teammates armor plates. This is where the results were shocking. So I tested this with my friend Fantas. First of all, we tested without upgrading the class. This is me right here and you can see me dropping armor pack for my teammate. I dropped a total of three armor plates for him and now he's fully stacked. Let's see how much damage he takes from the enemy. The first shot directed to the level three layer dealt 14 damage. The second shot directed to the level two armor plate layer dealt another 14 damage. And the third shot that destroyed the level one layer dealt 13 damage now here is the crazy part even after all the armor layers i gave him were destroyed he's still taking 14 damage which is just crazy if you think this is crazy then you're wrong things get even crazier than this so i upgraded my refitter class and again i dropped armor plates for my teammate Fantas. you can see that he has three stacked layers let's see how much damage he takes now the first shot hits the level 3 armor layer and it deals 10 damage 10 damage guys that's almost 50 percent damage reduction again the second shot hits the level 2 armor plate layer and it deals another 10 damage same thing with the third shot as it hits the level one layer destroying it and dealing 10 damage again now prepare to get your minds blown up my teammate continues taking 10 damage even after he lost all the three layers i gave him and if you notice in the fourth shot he didn't even take 10 damage he took 9 damage only. So he only needs to take armor plates once from me and he will take 50% damage reduction for the entire game. Do you guys realize how broken this is? Your three teammates will basically become moving tanks and the enemies will think that your team is hacking. I'm 99% sure that this is a glitch and it's not supposed to work like this. It should only reduce the damage when you have armor layers and the damage should be normal after they are destroyed. And if that's the case, then I expect them to fix it within a week or so depending on how fast they watch my video so enjoy it while it lasts and if somehow this class is supposed to work like this then it's literally the best class in the game what doesn't make sense is that me who's using the refitter class doesn't get damage reduction after i lose the three armor layers but my teammates get a freaking 50 percent damage reduction that's why i think it's a glitch
There are two tests that I want to try here. First of all, let's see how many shots are needed to destroy a tank with and without the refitter class. So on the left, I'm driving the tank with the ninja class and on the right, I'm driving the tank with the refitter class. And the enemy right here is using an FHJ. Let's see what happens. So the refitter class increases the durability of the tank allowing you to take one extra FHJ shot. In the second test I want to check if the refitter protects against explosives. So we already know that the tank can kill you with one shot with normal classes. And now we will test it with the refitter class. And unfortunately it's still the same the tank will kill you with one shot even when you have three armor plates. I chose shotguns and snipers specifically for this test because both of them can kill with one shot. Let's start with the shotguns and I'll be testing the KRM. When using ninja class the KRM killed me with one shot only but after using the refitter class with three armor plates it took two shots for the enemy to kill me. Now some of you may think Zara is just one shot it's not a big deal but trust me it is a big deal. This one shot difference will give you enough time to kill the enemy before he does. On the other hand when I tested the sniper the results were the same. We already know that the exhaust Arctic sniper can kill with one shot to the head. So I tested with the refitter class and as expected it still killed me with one shot and the reason for that is because the refitter class doesn't protect your head. The head will always take the normal damage. Someone in the comments said that the refitter class reduces the damage from trap master and cancels the slowdown. So I put that to the test. I'm using refitter class on the left and ninja class on the right. But as you can see it's not true. You still take the exact same damage and you will get slowed down. We've already been through this but I want to put everything together. So first of all the upgrade reduces the incoming damage for you and your teammates. Second of all it increases the repair speed rate of both your vest and vehicles. It also increases the duration and the rate of the repair boost gained from the armor plates when you drop them down. And it increases the durability of the vehicles allowing them to take more hits. Finally something I haven't mentioned it increases the time in which the armor vest remains on the ground after using it. Before I end this video, I'm gonna give my opinion on this class. I mean, you already know, but I think it's the best class in the game right now. For solo players, it might not be very useful, but for squads and players who play screams and tournaments, then this class is just broken. And it will give you a huge advantage over your enemies. From all the videos I made, this video took the most time to record and edit, so a like would be highly appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, then consider subscribing. I want to thank my friends Fantas and Abud for helping me make this video. Feel free to check Fantas channel, he posts awesome montage and tip videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.